Without volunteers, none of this would be possible. Not the Champion Buyers Club, not the Purple Ribbon Auction, and even the shows at State Fair, whether it's 4-H or FFA or open shows, uh, it's a great way to give back to the kids. It's a great way to stay involved. And um, I, I hope to go out and find uh, some more people to be members of our subcommittees. And we're wide open to ideas and change. Um, and so we need to find those people that have skill sets. We need public relations people, we need media people, we need people that are willing to go out and fundraise for us. And if we can um, hone in on a few more good participants that way to join up, a, join up with this group, um, the future is bright. Um, when my son first went through the auction, we got our check back and it was not what um, he sold his animal for through the auction. And I wondered where that money went that was taken out. It went to the Minnesota Livestock Breeders Association, MLBA. And until I got really active with this um, auction committee and the Champion Buyers Club, I wasn't sure what they did with that money. Now we go, we give back so much more through scholarships and um, through giving money at uh, state fair um, shows, whether it's FFA or the junior shows, they give money to junior associations. And so that, um, the money that they take out of those checks does go back to the kids. The auction um, scholarship started with maybe five or six scholarships, and we've now grown to 40 scholarships, and they give a they give thousand and two thousand, and um, there's, this year there were three, mega scholarships that were $4,000 and what that entails is um, a sponsor um, donates half of that scholarship money and the MLBA matches that and that is huge for these kids and so $500 will get you um, a, give one child a $1,000 scholarship and uh, the scholarship committee has been fantastic and very impressed with these kids so it's not just the champions that get the money then it's those kids that go out and work hard every day and put their blood sweat and tears into their livestock projects not every kid gets a purple ribbon there are and the scholarships do not focus on the champions and the purple ribbons the scholarships focus on who does the hard work some of them have their own enterprises some of them show their own animals and they're proud that they maybe started out in the red ribbon group and they moved to the blue ribbon group or fortunate enough to get the purple ribbon but they don't um, necessarily make the auction. The other thing is there's half the kids that exhibit that show breeding stock instead of market animals and that breeding stock um, doesn't have a chance to make it through the purple ribbon auction either because it's just out for the market animals. So if you show breeding stock and have a successful program that way, um, the, the scholarship is a great way to award those kids.